Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're going to be opening up some Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. So actually these sets are like some of my favorite sets that they've ever created in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because they have so many different cool cards for so many nostalgic archetypes, like the Winged Dragon of Raw, Jinzo, and Mech Lords in this particular one. And it brings back one of my favorite rarities, which is Ghost Rare, which I don't know if we'll pull it or not, but maybe we will, I don't know. I'm just excited to get all the different cards for this uh, set, because we're going to be building Jinzo, we're going to be building Mech Lords, and we are going to be building the Winged Dragon of Ra. I do actually have three boxes of this, but we will be opening up two of the other boxes in another video. We're just going to open up one in this particular video. So let's go ahead and see what we can pop out of this box, and hopefully we can get some good stuff. So let's just go ahead and pop that open really quick and see what we can do for this opening. So you get 36 packs in this, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys, and definitely hit that bell in there so you can come part of Notification Squad. And if you want to help out with videos, like helping us get, you know, funds for the videos, you can definitely check out the Patreon because we have some awesome words for you guys, like getting your description for every single video, getting signed cards in the mail, or even getting to quest deck profiles with test hands every single month that you are a patron. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll start with the right hand side and see what we can get out of this box. So this is really interesting because you actually get 36 packs in every box and I don't know what the pull ratios are in this. I think it's like seven, I think it's like seven supers and six ultras per box. So we should have a lot of stuff. So we got a mech lord, we got one of the mech lords, the big guy. We've got a Jinzo Lord, which hasn't had a reprint ever, I don't think. Mech Lord uh, Army of Weiss, uh, Weissel, and a copy of one of the new cards for Jinzo, which is Cyber Energy Shock, which is actually one of the new rare cards. It's kind of interesting. I think you play that as a three of. I think I'm going to play that as a three of. I don't really know. I'm going to have to play test around with the deck a little bit before I actually profile it. So we've got Token Sunday. We've got Chaos Infinity, Reboot, Metal Flex Slime, and a Cosmic uh, Channeling, or Cosmo Channeling. Uh, that's pretty interesting, too. We're pulling a lot of Jinzo stuff. I wonder if this is going to be a Jinzo box. It will be if it's our first Ultra Rare, is the Jinzo the Menacing Machine. Uh, we got a Mech Lord, Monster Reborn. I'm going to have a lot of those. Jinzo, that looks really nice, too. Ooh, Blaze Cannon. That's our first Ultra. Cool. And then we got a uh, Mech Lord Deflection. That's pretty neat. Ooh, we got to have a sleeve for that. I think you, I don't even know how many play this. I don't even, is this the one that counts as a blaze accelerator? Yeah, that's so random that this is tied into volcanic support. So shout outs to Payne96, like shout outs to him because uh, he like all the time wants like volcanic support, but I guess this technically counts as volcanic support because it counts as a blaze accelerator. So let's go ahead and see what we can get in this next pack. So Amplifier, we already got our first Ultra, Jinzo Return, Mind, Mind Control is a good reprint. Um, ooh, we got one of the Mech Lords. We got one of the Mech Lord Supers. Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up, too. I don't know how many you're going to play of that, either. Um, we also got a... Ooh, Reflector Slime. That's uh, based on a slam, uh, Slime um, Machine. The Slime Machine that they made a long time ago that uh, the guy that didn't talk in the Duel Monsters where Yugi won Slifer, he played this card, which was kind of cool. This one makes a bunch of tokens to get out raw really easy. So I think that I know that's going to be a three of. So we got the Mech Lord Army um, Deployer. That's pretty good, too. That's not bad so far. The Blaze Cannon's pretty nice. I mean, anything that's raw support is nice, to be honest with you guys. We got Jinzo Jector, Holding Arms, Ra's Disciple, Jinzo Returner, and a Cyber Energy Shock. So we got two of those. I'm going to have so many of those. With buying three boxes of this, I'm going to have so many cards for, like, duplicates of this stuff. Um, we got Army of uh, Grinnell. Uh, Token Stampede, Astro Dragon, Skeel, and a Machior the Destructor. This card's a new reprint card. They actually reprinted this to where it's been... If this card is sent from the Monster Zone to the Graveyard, you can activate one trap in your hand this turn, and you can only use the effect of Machiora the Destructor once per turn. It used to be as many traps as you want, which was ridiculous, and actually made the card broken to the point it got banned, but they just eroded it to be that effect. And it could be sent from anywhere before. Token Sunday, Chaos... Uh, reboot, Metal Reflex Slime, and a Mound of Bound Creator. Mound of Bound Creator is not a terrible reprint um, as a rare, but it kind of throws me off because we don't get rares in anything else. Okay, this is a card that I've been thinking about actually playing in Jinzo, is Brain Control. I know I got an errata because you have to pay 800 life points and you can only target a monster that can be... Um, they can be normal summoner set, but sometimes your opponent does leave monsters on the field that cannot be normal. They can just be normal summoner set. Holding Legs, uh, the Restitution of uh, Mech Lord. We got Mechlord Fortress and a Cosmos Channeling. So not bad. 
Come on, give us a hollow. We got two so far. That's not terrible. Amplifier. I don't think you're going to play that at all. Genzo Return. Mind Control. Ooh. Mechlord Emperor Weiss Synchro Absorption, which is actually absorbing Stardust Dragon. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. That card looks awesome. That's that's actually a really good hollow to get. Uh, cannot be done with something that must be special by the effect. Uh, during your opponent's turn, quick fact, you can target one Mechlord monster you control. Um, to the graveyard, special on this card from your hand. Um, and then if this card is special summoned, then you can target one monster your opponent controls and chain, it cannot attack for the rest turn. And when a card or effect is activated that would destroy cards on the field, quick effect, you can trip this card and negate the activation if you do destroy it. I don't know how many I'll play that at. I don't know if I'll play that or not. I don't know yet. Let's see if we can get in the next one. Maybe we can ultra next. Amplifier. Mind control. Metal reflex slime. Kind of looks a little weird. Uh, Cosmic or Chaos Infinity, and ooh, we got uh, Psychic Mega Cyber. It's actually based on Fiend Mega Cyber. That's pretty cool. I think you play that at least at one. At least all the builds that I've been kind of researching to kind of look and see how I wanted to start with Jinzo, um, you played as a one of. So we got Token Stampede, Holding Arms, uh, Make Lord Emperor Skeel. Ooh, ooh, Psychic Bounder. Cool. Uh, and Everlasting Alloy. Everlasting Alloy is kind of neat, but I'm actually excited for this. The Psychic Bounder is awesome, dude. That card is actually, like, this was one of my favorite cards as a kid, was Reflect Bounder, and they redid it as this. This card's neat. If this card is normal uh, or special summon, you can add a Jinzo or a Spell or Trap that specifically lists it in your text from your deck to your hand, and when another monster you control is attacked by an opponent's monster before damage calculation, you destroy both the attacking monsters and this card. Both the attacking monster and this card. Which is pretty cool. It just basically destroys itself and the opponent's monster. That's pretty nice. I'm actually excited that they reprinted that, because that really makes me want to play Jinzo with them retraining uh, Reflect Bounder. Like, that was literally one of my favorite cards. I don't know why. It just looks so weird with all the uh, mirrors on it. I thought it was nice. Okay, so uh, Mechlord Emperor Skeel. Skeel. Um, Jurgato. Left Arm Offering. I'm Emperor Weiss and another Machiora destroyer. I'm gonna have so many Machioras after this. Like it's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, Mech Lord, Jinzo Return, Mech Lord Fortress, Jinzo. Ooh, that's another one of the Me Me uh, Mech Lord Astro, uh, the Eradicator. That's pretty neat. That's uh, that's one of the Mech Lord traps. I don't know if you play that or not. I haven't done that much research into the Mech Lords. I've been more leaning towards the Jinzo stuff. Out of all the stuff in the set. I've read all the raw stuff. I haven't really read all the mech lord stuff yet. Brain control, holding arms, monster reborn, uh, Emperor Grinnell, and the Mount of the Down Creator. That's actually one of the decks I wasn't super hyped for that they re redid stuff for it. But I really want to get the dragon because the dragon's busted. Okay, so we got uh, Emperor Skeel. We got Ralph's Disciple, holding legs. And we got another one of the uh, Deployer. That's pretty good. And another uh, Reactor Slime. That's not terrible at all. So we got two of the three... Uh, Deployer. I know you need three Deployer. I know you need three Deployer. But you know, you guys know I'm going to build it all. You know that's coming. Be real. Okay, we got uh, the Mechlord Army. We've got Boon of the Mechlord Emperor, which I don't think we pulled yet. Weiss. Oh, we got another Blaze Cannon. Cool. Hey, we got another Blaze Cannon. That's only the second Ultra, though. That's not bad. Blaze Cannon. Blaze Cannon's not a bad card at all. Hopefully I don't pull like eight of them. Because that's that, I've only pulled two ultras, and that's one of the two ultras. Reboot, mind control, brain control. Getting a lot of control over here. Left arm offering, and a mech lord uh, deflection. We're gonna go with deflection. Let's see if we can get in this last one. This is the last pack of the right side. So we're gonna get a token stampede, holding arms, emperor skeel. Um, we get another one of those, and a everlasting alloy. Okay, so that's all for the right-hand side. Let's go to the left-hand side. I honestly, I've seen six Ultras in a box before. I don't know how many we're going to get. So, Ejector, Token Sunday, Ra's Disciple. Ooh, ooh, that's a short print. Ooh, that is a short print. Ancient Chant is a short print. I am excited. Okay, this is apparently the Winged Dragon of Ra box. What is that? What is that? Is that like a bubble in the art? Or is that a part of, like, what is that? That is weird. I know you guys can see that right there. There's like a little circle right right there. You can see it. That's weird. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. And a wild monster appears. You haven't gotten one of those. That's, that was weird. I have not seen that in a card before. I mean, I had some friends tell me that this was this set was going to be kind of like the quality of the cards is going to be weird. I haven't noticed that yet. Token Stampede, Astro Dragon, Skeel, 
and Mountain of the Beyond Creator. And I wish they would have reprinted some weird cards. Like, Token Stampede's kind of just like, eh. Like, give us something, a good reprint. Weiss, Reboot, Genzo Lord. Genzo, to go with that Genzo Lord. And a Eradicator. Ancient Chant, though. That's a good... St well, that pack just disintegrated. Totally disintegrated. Brain Control. Holding Legs. Uh, Army. Fortress. And Reflector Slime. Which, now we have all the slimes we need. We have all those slimes. Now we just need to get an uh, Egyptian God Slime. Uh, Durgado. Left Arm Offering. Psychic Shockwave, which was originally only a Secret Rare. Ooh, Law of the Cosmos. Ooh, that's a good card. That is a good card. We need that. Uh, this card, like, searches Jinzo stuff, I think. You get to, your opponent can set a trap directly from their deck, and if you do, you special summon a Jinzo from your deck, and if they uh, did not, you get to add a Jinzo that specifically, or a monster that specifically lists that card in its text from your deck to your hand. That is a three of in every single Jinzo deck. Every single Jinzo deck, that is a three of. Jector, Token Sunday, Ra's Disciple, Emperor Woots Weiss, and a copy of the Everlasting Alloy. It's not bad so far. Uh, Weiss, Grenal, Amplifier, ooh, uh, Army, and Deflection. It's not bad so far. We haven't pulled anything really bad. I mean, we've gotten uh, the majority of the raw stuff we needed so far. Reboot, Jinzo Lord, Jinzo. Ooh, Guardian Slime. Ooh, cool. Oh, that looks so nice as an Ultra Rare. It's so dark looking. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That looks nice. What's the rare? Uh, Eradicator. Okay, that looks super nice. Okay, that, that, I love the color of that. Like, that shade of blue right there is, like, my favorite shade of blue. And, like, it just fades in from the blue into the black. And it looks like Anubis. That is ridiculously cool. That is awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. I really like that. Okay, we got another Monster Reborn. Is Monster Reborn, like, a short print? Because I've only gotten two. Weiss, Token Sunday... Mechlord, and a Reactor Slime. I've gotten so many of those Reactor Slimes after three boxes. I don't know three boxes is a good idea. <laughs> Grenald, Boon, Astro Dragon, Jurgato, and Electromagnetic Shock. I don't know, I'm trying to pull all this stuff, so it probably was. Let's see what else we can get. Jinzo Returner, Mechlord Fortress, Ra's Disciple, Holding Legs, and a Mechlord, or not a Mechlord, that is not a Mechlord, that is a Mega Cyber. Is not a mech lord. Can I have the can I have the dragon, please, for the mech lords, please, or an Egyptian god slime? Uh, Psychic shockwave, metal reflect slime, mech lord fortress, and oh, we got a mech lord nucleus infinity core. Okay, that's neat. That's a uh, super rare for the mech lords. I think the majority of the mech lord stuff is super rare. A wild monster appears. I love how I was trying to be all neat back there with the rares and it just went to hell. It just did. It just did not work out for them. They're just rares, it's fine. Okay, we got a reboot, mind control, brain control, left arm offering, and a mountain bearing create. I think, but did I get the same pack? That was like the same pack. Yeah, I got the same pack earlier, and it was some, nothing but spells. That was a, that was a solid spell pack. Okay, uh, we got one of the Astro Mech Lords, uh, Jinzo Weiss. Oh, there he is. There's the boy, Jinzo the Machine Menace. Okay, how many Ultras is that? We've got one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth Ultra of the box. We might have one more. Uh, Cosmos Channeling, which is a good card. That Menacing Machine is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what he does. Uh, if a trap is faceable on the field, then you can, or in the graveyard, in either graveyard, then you can special summon this card, and this card from your hand. And if you do, it becomes level 6 until the end phase of the turn. During your main phase, you can quick effect, tribute this card, special summon a Jinzo from your hand or graveyard. Then you can destroy all traps your opponent controls, and if a set card is set, reveal it. You can only use the effect of Jinzo and the Menacing Machine once per turn. Jinzo and the Machine Menace once per turn. And the uh, OCG was called Jinzo the Menacing Machine, not the Machine Menace. So it's kind of messing me up. So Grenal, Boon, Astro Dragon, Jurgato, and a Eradicator. I got so many of those Eradicators, goodness. Okay, three packs left, guys. Three packs left. What can we get? Weiss, Army, Monster Reborn, Jinzo, ugh, and Wild Monster Appears. Come on, two more packs. 
Psych Shockwave, Metal Reflex Slime, Mechlord Fortress. Ooh, ooh, we didn't get that yet. Millennium Revelation. That's a good super. I know. You, I think you play that at three in the deck. You can send a Divine Beast monster from your hand or to the graveyard. Add one monster reborn from your deck to your or graveyard to your hand. Wow, that searches a monster reborn. I forgot that did that. You can send this face-up card uh, to the graveyard. This turn, you can special summon the Winged Dragon Royal from your graveyard with Monster Reborn, ignoring its summoning conditions. And then during the end phase of the turn this effect was activated, you must send the Winged Dragon Royal you control that was special summoned with Monster Reborn to the graveyard. Huh. Wow. Metal Reflex Slime. We got a lot of hollows out of this box. Goodness gracious. This is pretty good. Jinzo Jector. Holding Arms. Ra's Disciple. Can we end with a hollow? And we don't. Oh, Jinzo Returner. And a Metal Alloy. So we didn't do bad. That's not bad at all. We pulled one, two. Let me get that autofocus for you guys. We got one, two, three, four, five Ultras. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Supers. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, I think there's only like nine different ultras or eight different ultras i think there's eight different ultras and nine different supers so that's not bad at all i mean we pulled a duplicate ultra rare but i think you needed it so that's it for this particular box opening guys stay tuned because we are going to be opening up two more rage of raw boxes hopefully we can get at least the alternative art of raw so definitely stay tuned for that and don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell notification come part notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below because we have awesome words for you guys and it really helps out the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys